Hello, this is a, um, a Thargoid surface site I'm doing here. It's got quite a nice sort of almost lino cut like separation when you look at it in the game because of the different layers of cloud cover that you get. The uh, the misty surface is uh, sort of there's quite a lot of dust in the air somehow so that you get you get quite a lot of uh, faded shadowy distant stuff. The, the, the really far stuff is kind of obscured by the mist and, and, and it sort of steps forward in stages and each layer becomes more um, saturated with colour I guess and, and clearer. Uh, like it would on a really misty day in the real world, but obviously this this mist is, is the weird uh, sort of miasma-like fog that you get around a Thargoid surface site. So you've got these really, really subtly, almost invisible barnacles, uh, and then you've got the the vast curved shapes of the limbs of the fallen Thargoid or the the, the surface structures of the Thargoid whatever that is we don't really know what they are whether the mother ships or or whether they are actually just surface structures and um but yeah you can get inside them if you've got the right combination of artifacts you need a, a link a probe and a sensor in order to get in and activate the uh, the central chamber inside which is just a, a fantastic thing to see when you get in there it really does feel very alien right at the hub of the center of this cave thing and uh, the grim darkness of the corridors and the, the slight subtle greenish glow of these pulsing tubes that you get along the walls uh, that are taking whatever to various different parts of the structure. It, it's a fantastic place to visit in the game and, and it really does feel quite eerie. I'm not the sort of person that might particularly find it easy to play something like alien isolation type games so this is about as as creepy as I I feel I need to get with the, uh, the, the the hideous alien egg pods that you you have to shuffle round and and being on foot in this cave for the first time since uh, they updated the game is a really good experience. Um, certainly you can get tossed around like a rag doll if you touch the wrong thing, which is quite something. And certainly it's not designed for you to go on foot in really i don't think because you've got to have your srv or the, or the door just won't open for you but yeah it's it, it, you really do get the sense of the huge vast cavernous nature of, of this almost cathedral like center when you look up at the top of the chamber and it's all those egg pods clustered stuck to the ceiling and the limbs of the weird machine and the glow from the central hub it, it's well worth a visit anyway and uh, I think that's pretty much my picture finished. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.